Welcome to Chapter 8, Lesson 5. The essential question for this chapter is how can different fractions name the same amount? Today we'll be learning about simplest form. A fraction is in simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than one. The simplest form of a fraction is equivalent to the fraction. Okay, remember that a factor is one of the things in a multiplication problem, okay? It's one of the numbers in the math fact. Okay. So these numbers, 12 and 18, have a common factor. They both have 3. Common means they both have it. So 3 times 4 equals 12, 3 times 6 equals 18. They both have 3. So that's what it means when it says common factor. Okay, so a number is in simplest form if they do not have a common factor. So this is not in simplest form. Okay, let's try to see what they mean in action. There are 12 ingredients in a bread recipe. Esteban needs to buy 8 out of 12, or 8 twelfths of the ingredients. Write 8 twelfths in simplest form. To write a fraction in simplest form, divide, divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is the greatest of the common factors of two or more numbers. The biggest one. Greatest, biggest. Okay, now I always like to think about a fraction, the numerator and the denominator, like a brother, two brothers. You have the little brother and the big brother. And brothers like to be treated the same. Okay, It's not fair if one brother gets a new present and the other brother doesn't. Or one brother gets to go to the zoo and you leave the other brother at home. It's not very fair. We don't like when our parents treat us differently. So you need to treat these brothers the same. Even though it's a little brother and a big brother. Or a big number and a little number, you either have to multiply or divide them by the same number. You have to be fair. Okay, so find the common factors of 8 and 12. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8, right? Because 1 times 8 equals 8, and 2 times 4 equals 8. And the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, because 1 times 12 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. So which ones are common? Which ones are the same? Okay, well, they both have 1. They both have 2. And they both have 4. So these are the common factors. Now, we want the greatest one, the biggest one. So we'll circle the biggest one. We want 4. Okay, so now we're going to divide by the greatest common factor. So the little brother and the big brother, we have to divide by the same number or else it's not fair. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, the numbers 2 and 3 have no common factor other than 1, right? Because the only way to get 2 is 1 times 2 equals 2. And this one is 1 times 3 equals 3. There's nothing else. There's no point in dividing by 1 because it'll just end up being the same, right? Divide by 1, divide by 1. They'll each still equal 2 thirds, okay? So there's no point. So this is now in simplest form. So 8 twelfths in simplest form is 2 thirds. Remember that story about the equivalent fractions? These ones are equivalent fractions. Okay, because two-thirds times four times four equals eight-twelfths. Okay, so it goes backwards. So this is the equivalent fraction. This is expanded fraction, the fat cat fraction. Remember the fat cat fraction. Mm. And this is the simplest form, the simplest form. Okay. Okay, example number two. 
To write a fraction in simplest form, you can also divide by common factors. Okay, a newborn koala is 6 eighths inches long. Write the fraction in simplest form. So the fraction is 6 eighths. And we're going to divide by the common factor. Well, the only thing that these both can be divided by is 2. So remember, top and the bottom, you've got to divide by the same thing. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 6 eighths simplifies to 3 fourths. Okay, this is the original fraction. This is the fat cat fraction. A newborn koala is 3 fourths inches long. Okay, so in the instructions, when we do it in class, you're going to have to write these fractions in simplest form. All right, and building on our essential question. First of all, we'll just look at the question. How can you check to see if a fraction is in simplest form? So how do you check? How do you know if it's in simplest form, if it's as simple as it can get? Well, check to see if there are any more numbers you can divide both the numerator and denominator by. Okay, see you in class.